My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. This is part of an informational video series. We will be discussing micron stroke. This is a new scientific term that I coined. I'd like to review some of these concepts a slightly different way. Let's get right down to the level of what's happening in the brain. First, what I'm going to show you is normal function. This is an example of normal function where blood flow is occurring into the brain and the nutrients are going over to the brain cells and everything is blissful. This is normal. Now I'd like to show you what is the currently accepted term for a TIA or a mini stroke. An occluded blood vessel reopens and neurologic function is restored. As we mentioned before, I find this very unlikely that an artery or capillary in the brain can be occluded and then within a matter of minutes or an hour reopen. Arteries in the body don't work that way. A complete evaluation of the coagulation cascade, which is how your body forms clots or has the ability to block off a blood vessel, will clearly show you that it is very difficult for a stable clot to do anything other than be a stable clot. When people have a clot that goes to the heart, it's considered a heart attack. People that have a heart attack have to go to a heart catheterization lab or someone has to use a clot buster medication to open that artery back up. But these arteries don't spontaneously open up. Thinking of the concept of TIA in the same light, it would almost seem strange that an occluded blood vessel in the brain will spontaneously open up in a matter of minutes or less than an hour. If the equivalent is that you have to actually go to the heart catheterization lab and do some type of a balloon or intervention to get an artery to open or to be able to administer some type of a medication that will bust a clot up, you have to realize an occluded artery in the brain may have a different alternative way of restoring neurologic function. So here in this animation, what we see is the same. The occluded blood vessel occurs. The neurologic function is disturbed for a period of time, whether it's minutes or an hour, but the damage is permanent. But the brain is able to reroute, recalculate, make adjustments. The brain is a very tricky thing and it wants to be able to restore that function. So in the end, the neurologic function is restored, but it's not because a blood vessel reopened. This is significantly different from what is in the current scientific literature in the medical textbooks. This has not been studied. When any of the information that you will be looking at on the internet, your healthcare team, they're going to be referring to a TIA as the blood vessel that was blocked and then reopened and restored neurologic function. Back to everything being blissful. I totally disagree. I believe the damage is permanent. And over time, all of these small areas that you may notice or you may not notice, they're going to add up and they're going to give you what's called brain aging. When you're dealing with a concept that is appreciating the damage that a 10 micron stroke would cause to the brain as they add up over time, a significant amount of scientific research needs to be completed on this topic. Consider a stroke to be a winter snowstorm. A micron stroke would be a single snowflake. So how is this information going to help you? I told you when we started this series that I was going to be providing for you some new tools. So here it is. If you are someone that had an MRI of their brain completed, get the written report. You need to take a look at that report. If you see words such as age appropriate white matter changes, then you need to understand your healthcare team that's giving you the advice is standing on the absolute other side of the river from what I'm trying to describe to you today. Your healthcare team is simply working under a general gestalt as they're interpreting the results on your MRI. The assumption that the brain has a natural aging process is something that has been handed down from older physicians as they train newer physicians. But this is not something that has ever been proven or established one way or the other. Again today, as I'm explaining all of this information to you, I'm showing you that there is a different way of looking at what you've already been told. 
All I need you to do is simply consider that there could be a different way of looking at this. The brain age represents damage over time. Now that's going to be explained in the next video. The pusillanimous radiology team should be reading your report with all of the details that are necessary. The Dementia Prevention Center requires very specific details to be read into the results of the MRI. Now this is very important because it serves both as a baseline for your prevention of dementia as you go through the future and it also serves to let you know where you are today. The descriptions should be full and complete describing anywhere in the brain that they're able to see areas of damage. The size of those areas of damage, how they compare to a different scan if a scan was done in the past. Most radiology teams will cower behind general terms such as age appropriate white matter changes simply because if they were to report to your healthcare team what they truly understand or believe, meaning hey, we don't know what's causing this damage, there's damage to the brain and we don't know what's happening, your healthcare team would call them on the phone and there would be a big discussion that would take place because your healthcare team would simply be saying, well, what are we supposed to do now? You say that there's brain damage and we don't know what's causing it. Aside from this organized video series that you're watching, there is nowhere else that is going to be describing what occurs to cause these damages to the brain. Now you're watching this video series and I'm very proud of you because you are going to be on your way to the prevention of dementia. We have more information to review related to the fact that the brain does not age and it is damaged over time. That will be our next video. My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. Thank you for watching.